Good morning and welcome to a Roots and Peaks adventure. This morning we're going to do a really exciting hike and then we're going to stay up at the AMC Lonesome Lake Hut. This will be the first time that our kids have done anything like this, so we'll see how that goes. And along the way we'll learn a little bit about what we did and maybe what we could do better next time. Guys, tell me what you're using for your, um, for pillows. Etsy. What are those? Squash mellows. Squash mellows. So you're gonna use those yeah, and have. and also have a toy. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty smart. And what are these things? Sleeping bags. Sleeping bags. Yeah. Oh, stuff We're gonna have to stuff those real tight to get them in your bag. And then mommy has a sleeping bag, and a inflatable daddy pillow. Has a bag? Daddy has a sleeping bag. Also and. A a uh, fanny pack that I'm very excited to wear and an inflatable pillow and this is like a sheet because this isn't a sleeping bag it's actually a quilt oh. and we're sleeping on mattresses in an AMC hut yes, yes. I have a big arm. and a huge arm <laughs> going to our local EMS to find some good stuff for our trip Probably some food and who knows what else. Here are our bags for the Lonesome Lake trip. We have mommies and boots and stick and daddies. And daddy is rocking fanny pack because daddy is cool. We've got our big backpacks on, boots and stick and mommy have backpacks, I have backpack. And we're in the parking lot for the tram from Cannon. You can see it right there. And that's where we're going to park. And then we're going to take a shuttle over to where we're going to go into um, Lonesome Lake Path. So we're going with our cousins. Nice color. Going with our cousins on our trip. Yeah, everybody's got their big packs. Getting ready to go. We're taking a walk on the road over to a shuttle, which is gonna bring us back to where we're starting our trip. It's uh, $5 per person for the thing, and it's cash pay. Okay. So for four people, it costs $20 to take this shuttle back to Falling Waters or the campground. And it is it parks at this side the overflow of the regular cannon lot. So we're now at Lafayette Campground with the, the gang and uh, we're making our way to the trailhead, Lonesome Lake Trailhead. Hey Boots, it's a big pack you got there. You gonna make it? Barely. Barely. Show me. Oh, old man. Old man Boots. Nice job. We've all got these real big packs, so when we can, we take nice little breaks. Not really supposed to sit on the path, but if nobody's coming, what's the harm? It's interesting, because Stick, our little one, is having a hard time. Her tummy was hurting, so she had to go to the bathroom. We had to find a spot for her to go, and um, she's doing great, but we have to keep giving her goals. So we say, look at that tree. Can we can make that a tree? and it's working pretty well. It was inevitable. I took the little one's bag for a little bit. No problem. You should always have a backup plan in case someone can't do their first wait on the trip. She'll take it back in a minute. Just a little rest. 
we got to be getting close because we're kind of in a flat area. The kids have done really well, although the bag is a, the bags are a little bit heavy for them. So we've been taking some turns. Whoa, we made it to the lake. Pretty beautiful day. The hut is across the lake. We go around, around the lake we go on our way to the AMC hut. This is one of the first times in a while where it's so nice. Funny when you're, when you're younger, like how much longer it seems. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna go up there. There's this dock, and then we go up these stairs to get to Lonesome Lake Hut. On some lake, hot. Come off season, there is a journal, and then there's access to the full kitchen, which is great. There's some drinks if you're staying overnight that are free for those staying here. And then there's some, some paid stuff. There's also some paid stuff down there in case you forgot something. And then there's a washing station. You have to wash your stuff. There's a stove and cookware. There's a place to put your food, some spices, and a refrigerator. And this is where you wash everything. There's also some books and some, some games. And it's kind of, every time you come, it's a little bit different. And all these tables are great. You also, if you come off season, you sign up for a time to do dinner so that not everybody is in here at the same time, which is nice. So you get assigned a bunk room. We're in the lower bunk and we're in uh, one and two. That's a uh, Lincoln Lafayette over there, or the, the ridge. And then there and here, and we're gonna be in this one over here. Awesome. The bathrooms are up here. The lower bunk is down there with a nice view of Lincoln Lafayette, or a Lafayette Lincoln Little Haystack. The upper bunk rooms are there. These bathrooms are composting toilets. They're very nice. And then this is the main area to eat and to make food. Now, because we don't have bags, the kids are quite a bit happier. And we're in bathing suits. And we're gonna go see if they wanna stick their toesies in the water. Although it's supposed to be like 40 degrees, so maybe a polar plunge. Hey bud, you liking lunch? What do you got? Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Yummy, yummy, yummy. How about you? You liking what you got? Mmm. Lunch. How cold would you say it is? I'd say that's that's quite cold. Quite cold? On a scale of one to frigid. It is on the frigid end. Frigid end of cold. Kids don't seem to care. Took a nice little dive into the lake, which is probably 40 degrees. And uh, that was fun. I don't know if I'd recommend it for everybody, but uh, if you like shocking your body, it's pretty good. Pretty great view. You can do a loop around. That goes that way. Goes all the way around. 
and it comes out here, which is pretty nice. So we have successfully got through dinner. Yes. And we have um, made some Jenga. What else mm -hmm. have we done? Yep. We ate some Jiffy Pops. Jiffy Pop. I just have one more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I one delicious. One Jiffy Pop and the view. Jiffy Pop, Jenga. Do you, do you think that this is a commercial? Ready? Ready? What's better, Jiffy Pop or a mountain view? <laughs> what do you think, kids? Yeah, I think you're Yay! right. What do you think we've done well, and what could we do better next time? I think we did a good job of walking around, hiking, seeing the lake, playing in the lake, that kind of stuff. I think we probably could have brought a little bit more entertainment stuff for the kids, like drawing or painting. So sure. That would have been a really good idea. Yeah, although they've been having a good time. They've been having a pretty good time. Yeah, we did walk around the lake uh, twice fully, yep. which was great. And they loved it. Yep. And, to and tomorrow we will go up to Cannon. We'll see how that works. Hopefully. I'm so excited. Just leaving Lonesome Lake. We had an awesome stay. Um, we never get all that much sleep in these situations. So if you don't as well, <laughs> you're in good company. But it was great. And we are now headed up Cannon. And then we're going to take the tram down. So it should be a beautiful morning. Little bridges all along the way. This one's pretty high up with running water underneath it, which is cool. And the path to Cannon, the beginning is pretty flat and then it gets very steep. We're in the flat section right now. Yeah, we got some ice left up here. It's a Memorial Day weekend. We got these big rock scrambles and some leftover snow and ice. Family's doing great. Have to take frequent breaks. It's a lot of climbing for a six-year-old, so she has to take a lot of breaks, but she's doing awesome, and so is he. We are on the steepest mountain, and it's so steep. It's a 4,000-foot high mountain. And there's a cave in there, and up there, it is so steep. And we're trying to get through this part, so we need spotters. And there's up there. We just have to get through that. Okay. Hard, but it's worth it. It's hard, but it's worth it, says Boots. Pretty cool. Let's go up to the tower. We get to see. I'll come out of the edge and... There's this gigantic observation tower. So we're going to go on the tram. There the tram goes. That one's leaving. All the kids are watching it go. We're going to do the yellow one, I think. That's the one that's coming up now. And it'll park right over there. Pretty cool, huh? Here we go. We're on the tram going down now. Pretty cool. We are on a tram right now. And we are having a good time. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. Yeah, we're going on the tram. It's really fun. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video.